big day on Saturday. Everybody's been looking forward to this day, and it's uh, no secret that the Azzy Yard always reserve their best for these big days, and of course, National Yelling Sales is coming up. Uh, let's play poker. Um, incredibly well related and very well performed. Yeah, look, I think he's he's a smart horse and he has improved with his two starts. Um, he obviously had a lengthy break from his first start to his second start, but he's come on nicely from that. Uh, and I think he'll give a very good account of himself. There's some juveniles in the race that are receiving weight. Uh, not sure, um, obviously, what the trainers think of them, but running them in an open company, obviously they think that they've got a bit of ability. Hopefully the experience is in our favour and, and can manage to help us win the race. They come down to the last 300 metres, it's still Let's Play Poker. Palo Millions on the outside tries to wear it down. Saint Masters also finding a finish from the back, then comes in Kundla Gold, Chili Marmalade further back. Let's Play Poker still in front by two lengths. Saint Master down the inside, won't let up easy. Then comes Palo Millions, but it's Saint Master now picking up the lead into the closing stages. Sent Master won at second. Let's play poker. Then came Palo Millions. Fantastic. Then the Phillies Guineas winner from last season, Lady of Power, um, kind of lost her way, but she looks absolutely spectacular, and I'm sure you're expecting a decent performance from her, even though it is a grade one event. Yeah, look, this race is a um, bit of a tricky one because uh, obviously there's an unbeaten horse with Gimme Another there in the race, and um, it seems to look like everyone else is competing for second place. Uh, and... You know, I say this with obviously all the respect to the owners and the, the, that are involved in Lady of Power, but it would be a little bit sad to see a filly like that get beat. It's nice to see these type of horses in the country unbeaten, just going from strength to strength. So Lady of Power, if she had to finish in the first four, I would say it would be a pretty game performance from her. They go down to the 400. Litigation clings on to the lead. Lady of Power is on its outside and Malech is now moving in strong at the rail. And here comes Malech as they go past the final 200. Lady of Power is trying to go with it, followed by Tulip Tree in the pink cap. Litigation's behind that. It's Malech from Lady of Power. Malech's just in front into the closing stages here. And it's Malech as they go to the line with a class. Uh, the computer for Sprinter race that you are no stranger to you've won it with short priced horses and long shots that people have forgotten about one of them on the wall there riverine who comes to mind immediately but uh, you double fisted with both kiss me captain and ready to charge and he won very well last time out ready to charge is out after it then came mount pilatus zenovi copper mist and blue waters 200 to go ready to charge down the center elegant ice on the outside mount pilatus is further to the inside it's ready to charge mount pilatus these are the two down the inside mount pilatus ready to charge is fighting back ready to charge gonna get up ready to charge on it yeah look ready to charge his first run back after his stint in the western cape we are really happy with that because there were a lot of excuses for his runs um, down in the Western Cape, and uh, we were happy that he managed to get back to winning ways. Milan de Toy? Yeah, Milan's done a lot of work on him at the pens. Um, it seems to have helped. He's a horse that I think continually going to need a little bit of assistance with that regard. Um, he has come out of the run well. We're happy with how he's looking at the moment. Uh, I think this year's computer form sprint's a lot more competitive than what it may seem. It's not like there's one or two out-and-out -out sprinters in the race that look like they're far superior to the horse. Having said that, there is a lot of respect for horses like Thunderstruck. You know, he's done it from a two-year-old right into his older career. Um, so there is a healthy respect for him. But with the likes of Isi Vungu Vungu being gone, I think it does open it up a little bit more. Um, so I think he's definitely going to be a competitive runner. Uh, Kiss Me Captain, her last three starts, um, there's just been excuses and things that have gone wrong and... I think she's a lot better than what um, her recent form may suggest. Uh, and I do think a race of this nature and the way it, m it may turn out could suit a filly like this. 300 metres left to go, a Lula star, cold fact, Kiss Me Captain is down the inside, running on now, then come behind that Miss Cool. Cold fact with 200 to go, a Lula star, down the inside is Kiss Me Captain, a Lula star, cold fact, these two, a Lula star, Kiss Me Captain down the inside, a Lula star, Kiss Me Captain, a Lula star, a Lula star beat Kiss Me Captain. And then the derby, Mondial's a horse that... Um Looks like he's been crying out for ground and his preparation looks to be spot on. Yeah, look, I think from the minute this horse won, he's made in over a mile. Uh, my dad and I had said to the owners that we believe this was a derby horse. Um, and although he hasn't run over the trip, we know that he's he's looking for this trip. Uh, 
his preparation going into the race uh, from the classic up until now has gone pretty smoothly. We're actually really happy with where he is condition-wise and uh, the work that we've managed to get into him. Uh, I think for both of us, we'd also really like to win the derby with him because it's been the race that we've always aimed him towards. Also, to take a bit of a perception amongst uh, the people around there that we only train sprinters um, because we are good with any type of horse. Although we've done phenomenally well with sprinters, um, we seem to get sent a lot of speed horses um, and we're able to pick horses that maybe were being run over a mile and see that they actually were speed horses and we've brought them back to sprinting trips and they've done well. Having said that, I'd also like to take that perception away and prove that we can train stayers as well. Any type of horse, any type of distance, we know what we're doing. And um, I do think Mondial will give a good account of himself. Uh, head down to the last 400 metres now. Mondial, Prince of Green, come up to escape art as Willow's Wish is down the centre. Down the inside, Scallywag. Bloomington is also in the race and free movement too. 200 metres left to go. Escape art is still led. Down the inside, Bloomington. Mondial, free movement trying to get away through and Willow's Wish towards the outside with Prince of Green. Mondial and escape art is there to fight it out, but Mondial's fighting more here. Mondial goes on to beat escape artist. Exactly what you had to say about uh, stayers. We, we, we think back to the days of sea policy and karma's pride and my, um, magic smoke, uh, who was ostensibly a sprinter that ended up winning uh, over extended trips. Breeze over is a case in point. Yeah, look, um, he's done really well over the stamina trips, and I think he'll continue to do so. He's a horse that seems to just be improving with age, um, and we knew that as a three-year-old. He was still very immature. He's coming into his own... He's got a very good affiliation with Muzi. Muzi understands him well, so he manages to get the best out of him. I think he should be able to continue to do so. And, so. and Muzi's pressed the button again now on Breeze Over, and this could be the perfect ride. Breeze Over by four or five lengths. Positive attitude second. Nebras is still on the chase, backing third. Arumagum is behind that, but it's still Breeze Over with a commanding lead. And Breeze Over's clear with 100 metres left to go. Breeze over, this was a beautiful ride. Breeze over by three or four links. Positive attitude behind that. Flying first class, Arumagum further back in the field. Blackthorn, Nabras, and then Karamandal.